Hi, Lou Agave, Long Island Lou Tequila. Please follow my social media. Look who I'm with at Granite Lake, New Hampshire. Hey, Craig H. Tagave, thanks for joining us today. I'm sipping with Lou here up on the top deck. And we got something special here, Lou. It's, we're gonna find out, Lou's got a story, Lou. <laughs> tell, us what, tell us what you say about pretty bottles, Lou. My saying is 85% of tequila in pretty bottles is crap. And we're gonna find out if this fits into that category. So we don't know, I'm, I'm sure you've seen this. It's a, it's a great trophy looking bottle. Looks nice. It's a 1.75, so you're talking about more than two bottles of tequila in here. Yeah. Um, it's um, Casino Azul. Yeah. This one happens to be from NOM 1466, which is the old NOM, which was Trace Moeras. Yep. And it's the they do produce it now at 1438, I think. Yeah, believe. I think it was. Yeah, so you can talk about it. It's an añejo. I'm going to crack this open while uh, right on camera here. It was an añejo, and I don't think the ratings were extremely high or anything like that. But we're going to find out if it's got the manipulated additive taste that a lot of these pretty bottles have. So, I don't know. Let's check it out. Gregory's opening it up. Here goes Gregory, and I think he's got the top off. off. I broke off this little uh, gold plastic crown. It's like a ring, yeah. And then the cork oh. pulls right up. It's off. Um, again, I can't see it so much in the camera shot. Let's see. What do we got here? Let's take a, a smell of this. Well, let me pour you yeah. a little bit. We do keep talking. I got so a lot is, of vanilla in there. This is stone brick oven cooked, and I believe it was all stainless steel. Roller uh, mill. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, distilled, roller mill, uh, macerated. And I guess it was fermented in stainless steel. Yeah. Well, color, Lou, is, it's golden hue. It's an golden hue. color. Not horrible. Right? Not on the nose. Not horrible. I mean, I have vanilla and caramel in there, maybe some butterscotch. No, I, I've been to this uh, distillery. Yeah, Paris, you were there. That's right. And um, about five years ago, Lou, and they, they make a, a lot of pretty bottles there. And you got to watch out for that, you right. know, a lot of times. And how many brands do you think they make that? I don't know what they say. I think I don't think it was that many, like 18 or 20. I think it was like, I think you said 23. I'm yeah, it sure. wasn't it's humongous, you know. I, don't so know. I get a little cooked agave on the nose. A little bit. Mm -hmm. This is an añejo, huh? This is an añejo. I'll hold it up one more time. Put the bottle right there. It's a pretty bottle. Yeah, hold that closer into the shot. Well, you know, it's not horrible. I mean, the nose isn't bad. You, did you take a sip? Yeah, already? I took a sip. It's uh, okay. I've had worse. You know, it's funny, Lou, and I'm, I'm saying it, it drinks like Trace Moharis. I've, I've had Trace Moharis um, there in añejo. It's very similar. It's a funny thing with additives. Sometimes it's very obvious, and sometimes it's not. This could be borderline in some ways, right? I'm actually going to say, Lou. I know. This is this is not bad. I mean, I know the panel gave this an 80. Yeah. And I'm, I'm maybe probably, they had a reason for doing that. Yeah, exactly. We 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 were looking to slam a. We were record, we were rarely say 79 and 72 or and if whatever. I was, if I was blind tasting this, Lou, I, I would say it's in a, in a low 80s. Not horrendous. No. So, pretty bottle. Beautiful green eyes on the front end. But there. does it mean there's no additives in it? We can't say that. No, no, we wouldn't. No, uh, but we, if there is, they did a pretty good job of covering it up, right? So some of the additives when they they put in a bottle is glycerin, yeah, which is just mouthfeel. And we don't and see that well, extra oils. I can see that on the tears, Lou, when you look down. Yeah, but it wasn't a very no, overly, no, it wasn't wasn't right. a big large mouthfeel. But and it's not overly vanilla or caramel. It has a good amount to that, but right. not. And it has it has some it does have some slight wood notes. To be honest with you, I'm surprised. I've been holding doesn't have to, that added. Somebody but... somebody gave this to me as a gift. I've been holding it for about three years, Lou. And I just figured now was the time to open it up. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't have that. Whoa, this thing's heavy. <laughs> it doesn't have that uh, aftertaste of uh, additives. I agree. Yeah, I, agree. I don't know what to say. I mean, I would it probably... probably has additives in it. Mm. I'm sure it might, but it's definitely drinkable and I would score this. My, I'd probably score this like an 82. Oh, you go that high? I would. I was going to say 80, you know, uh, but I could sip which this. is respectable. Yeah. So listen, Trace Moharis edition, Jaguar Casino Azul, pretty bottle, and yeah, well, worthy, it, worthy does, of a gift. Does it make it in? Uh, I'm gonna to go, 15%? I'm going to say it's probably on that 18%. <laughs> <laughs> Out of the 15% that are the good ones that are in pretty bottles, it just might squeak in. I think you might be there. <laughs> Not so bad. There you go. Casino Azul. Casino Azul.